Well, man, why are you attacking somebody black? I said, black people didn't put this up. They didn't have anything to do with this. Well, I heard I them planning the Obama it. administration did. Well, that's it. The Obama, what did he do for the black race? Nothing. Question you might ask, who's the richest man to ever be U.S. president? Um, it's not Trump. No. It's Barack Obama. You know how? His adopted father, Lolo Sotoro, was one of the 10, 15 richest men on earth. And when he died, he left a trust fund in Indonesia with three equal beneficiaries. Barack Obama, then known as Barry Sotoro because he was adopted, and his two siblings. So he has a whole false claim about what his background is. But when he got in the White House, he'd been working for a law firm that represented his daddy. He got lauded by Goldman Sachs, who financed most of his daddy's uh, American investments. He protected British Petroleum when they had to blow out in the Gulf because guess what? His trust fund had heavy investments in BP. So we get through this whole mantra and even uh, affordable care, Obamacare. You know who drafted it? Senior Tennessee Republican Senator Dr. Bill Frist when he was Republican Senate Majority Leader. Why? His family founded Blue Cross, Blue Shield, and most of the HMOs. His family's making a killing. So he retired from the Senate in 2010 when the Obama administration got passed his drafted act from 2003. See, his game. And I don't have any problem with Trump either. I'm looking at lowest black unemployment rate since Lyndon Baines Johnson, more money to historically black colleges and universities at any time since Lyndon Baines Johnson, I mean, more Americans back to work, you know, like, what did you get for the last three? Oh, oh, and then this, you know, that joke that they do about George W. Bush uh, feeding uh, Michelle candy? The inside thing on that is it's the same candy he fed her husband when he was six, seven years old. See, the Sotoros and the Bushes go back 40-some years.